Everyone knows the story of Robin Hood and the Sheriff of Nottingham, right? It's been a story in one form or another since the 12th century. Be it in books, movies, TV shows, video games. Mention Robin Hood and kids and adults know him. But what about the supporting players? Little John, Will Scarlet, Maid Marian. We don't forget them. But there is one character that sometimes gets overlooked. Sir Guy of Gisborne. He's sometimes the main bad guy when the sheriff is playing for comedic effect. But a lot of times he's a henchman doing the sheriff's bidding and usually coming off badly at Robin's hands. He's been moustache twirling evil as played by Basil Rathbone in The Adventures of Robin Hood. He's been the unfortunate cousin of the sheriff as played by Michael Wincott in Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. In Disney's 1973 feature Robin Hood he wasn't featured, although Prince John's counsellor, Sir Hiss, could well double as the character. Gisburn, anyone? <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Richard Armitage was, in my opinion, the one high point as Gisburn in the 2006 Robin Hood series from the BBC, as I found the show in general to be lacking something. Although that's just my opinion, others may have liked it. Gisborne has been amalgamated, in a way, with the Sheriff in Robin Hood Men in Tights, a parody of Robin Hood movies by Mel Brooks. This Sheriff, played by Roger Rees, had Alan Rickman's Sheriff's dress sense, but the film's design aesthetic draws a lot from the Errol Flynn adventures of Robin Hood, giving him a touch of Rathbone's Gisborne, too. Interestingly, the Fire Marshal character who appears in Men in Tights in the opening credits, is played by Clive Revel, who appeared as a fantasy version of Gisborne in Star Trek The Next Generation's episode, Cupid. Clive was, has another connection to the legend of Robin Hood, and he worked alongside the actor, singer, and stunt arranger Mark Ryan on the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen video game. Clive voiced Jetfire, an elderly Decepticon turned Autobot, while Mark voiced Bumblebee, However, in the film version, it had been Mark voice in Jetfire. Mark had played the Saracen Nazir, an opponent turned ally in Robin of Sherwood. And that segues nicely to the Gisborne I want to focus on. On Saturday evenings for three years, I watched Robin and the Merrys, Outwit the Forces of Nottingham and Sir Guy, and the actor that played him was Robert Addy. Uh, please note the following biography is sourced from Wikipedia and can be viewed in full in the link in the description. Robert Alistair Addy was born in South London on the 10th of February 1960. During his early childhood he was adopted by Marjorie and Jack Williams and raised in Sapperton in the county of Gloucestershire. After getting his formal education at Marlborough College and Magdalen College School in Brackley, he was employed as a trainee estate agent on a ranch in Argentina before returning to England and joining the National Youth Theatre in London in 1976 at the age of 17. He made television appearances in the television shows Absolution, Horse in the House, Barriers and Bogner, and also appeared in a number of commercials ranging from Wallfeller to Cakes, as well as parts in various theatrical productions. He trained in acting at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, which he left early after successfully auditioning for the role of Mordred in the film Excalibur. This will be the first of his delves into Arthurian legend, playing the older version of the character played by the director's son, Charlie. Many years later, he would appear in the Hallmark television series Merlin, but I'll go into more detail about that later. In 1982, Robert starred in one of the few lead roles of his career as the character of Storky, in a BBC television miniseries of Rudyard Kipling's novel Storky and Co. In 1984 he would appear as the character that had the longest impact on his career and the one he is still known for today among his many fans, the guy of Gisborne in the TV series Robin of Sherwood, known in the US as Robin Hood. Robert played the part in three seasons until 1986 when the funding for the show dried up due to financial difficulties. It ended somewhat abruptly with the story hanging in the air, although many years later it would get something of a conclusion. Later roles found him in shows such as The Return of Sherlock Holmes, The Bill, Crossbow, a show about William Tell, and Red Dwarf. 
In 1989, he took a rest from acting and spent several years living in Spain and the United States before returning in 1995, performing in several fringe theatre productions with the Exiled Theatre Company. Later, he restarted his film and television career, appearing in The New Adventures of Robin Hood, an American show much in the vein of Hercules and Xena, Merlin, the miniseries, where he played opposite his Robin of Sherwood co-star Nicholas Grace, and The Wonderful World of Disney, again in a story of King Arthur. He also featured in a number of television commercials for designer kitchens and whiskey, among other things. His final acting credit was as a bar owner in Intimacy in the year 2000. Robert didn't forget his fans and appeared at several Robin of Sherwood conventions with his castmates. Here he is with my friends Ragnar and Freya, who've kindly let me use these pictures. Robert was married and divorced three times, the marriages producing three children, Alexander, Alistair and Caitlin. Robert sadly passed away on 20th of November 2003 at age 43 in Cheltenham General Hospital from the effects of lung cancer just three weeks after he got the diagnosis. His funeral took place at the Church of St John the Baptist, Sirencester, after which he was cremated, with his ashes being buried in the graveyard of Holy Trinity Church, Minchinhampton. But even after his passing, the Sagai of Robin of Sherwood would not be silenced. In 2016, 30 years after the show ended, the surviving cast were reunited for The Knights of the Apocalypse, an audio drama made using a script written by series creator Richard Kip Carpenter for the unproduced fourth season and featuring actor Freddie Fox as Gisborne. And it's here we bring our story, my dear viewer, to its final chapter, as it were. After the Hooded Man convention between 21st and 22nd of May 2022, I took a trip to Robert's final resting place to pay my respects. The village of Minchinhampton lies to the southeast of Stroud atop one of the many hills of the Cotswolds. If you want to travel here, there is a bus that runs from Stroud, but it's better to come by car. Before we go any further, I would ask that if you choose to visit, you please respect the church, its surrounding and the local people. Thanks. Robert is interred towards the rear of the churchyard on the left side, near to the kissing gate next to the adjacent car park. Okay, um, I'm here to pay my respects to Robert Addy, and I leave a message for from him to him from Nicholas Grace. So, kiss, best wishes from Nicholas, and uh, from Esther Charkham, a stone near to where we had our convention, the Hooded Man, this weekend. That's from Esther. And from Sally Heesman, who's a big fan, is her chum. Oh, sorry, her chum keyring. These are for you. There they are. God bless. You.